When families are making the choice of the urn, it's real important that they get a sense of the loved one that they are celebrating. Some styles are more whimsical in nature, like our satchel and tote purse urns. Again, when families come in, some people just immediately are gravitated towards this. That's exactly how mom was, exactly how grandma was. This piece for the consummate baseball fan is the Dodgers urn. During the service, we have families who actually remove the baseball and we'll pass this around during the memorial service or the funeral service and have family members actually sign this. So after the urn is interred in the niche, they can keep the baseball as a memory. Here you're given almost a blank slate. You can select up to five uh, photos that are personal or memorable to the family and it's laser etched on the front really beautifully. Additionally, it's available in a companion style. So this means it's about 40% larger. However, if you were to open this up, you would see a divider between the two sections so that you're enabled to place two sets of remains within one complete urn. The piece right in front of me is really well done. It has actual sand placed on the outside with these beautiful little footprint designs. This is solely designed for families who are going to scatter at sea. Once the urn itself is placed in the water, after a few minutes it starts to degrade, as will the bag of remains, and it releases the cremated remains into the ocean. These urns are called scattering tubes, and you can tell by their size, they're truly not meant to be interred in the park. Their purpose would be for either transporting the remains home if you have to go through security, because this will scan through uh, the TSA uh, security process. If you've acquired the correct permits to do a scatter, say, in a park or a personal location, which does require uh, permit, um, you can use the scattering tube and there's a little punch at the top, a little hole that you would open up at which time the remains can um, be poured out of this urn. With cremation you do have the ability to split remains. So if you've gone ahead and you've placed your urn in the cemetery and you want to still have your loved one close, you have that ability to take a portion of the remains, select a keepsake, place a small amount of remains in there, and then again, you can have them near and dear to you for eternity. Most artists, when they make a full-size urn, they will work on a matching keepsake piece. We've actually had 29 different splits with one family who was very close and very spread out around the country, and they each wanted to keep their grandfather close to them. And then we have a whole category that I personally really love. It's the jewelry category. So this particular design is a very popular piece because it's actually a companion ring. Okay, so you can see these two little spots that open up with the screw, a very small screw, and then a small amount of remains we placed in the bottom heart and the top heart. So we have lots of children who will buy this, say, so they can keep mom and dad close to them at all times. And then you have a ring that's truly just, you know, a beautiful piece for the public who's looking at your hand. But you know that you're keeping your loved one close to you.